guys welcome back to my channel so for today's video we're going to be talking about the morphe 25b bronze palette um mocha bronze palette um i don't think it's a new palette um but it's new to me um it runs for 18 dollars, and you can find it at ulta or even at morphe.com um, um so i don't think it's a brand new palette but um when i did see this at ulta it's like a little section at ulta um that they have there for morphe and they have the jacqueline hill palette they have like other tons of um, more palettes um, and they're selling brushes now which is so cool so you don't have to wait to order them online and then wait for them to get to your home um, so I thought that's a brilliant idea I'm so glad Morphe um, teamed up with Ulta to do that for all of us because I sometimes it's like a love and hate relationship when it comes to shopping online because I don't like waiting for my package um, so I think that's really really cool and so awesome um, so this is what the palette looks like um, it's all black it's all matte black, so it just says Morphe, and the names are not on here, but they are on this little plastic, whatever this thing is called. So this palette, you guys, does run for $18, which I think is super affordable compared to like more higher end um, palettes that do run from like $30 to like up to like $60. Um, you get this bad boy for $18, and this palette, you guys, can seriously fit like any skin tone like literally this like when i saw this it seriously reminded me so much of my sister because my sister has super super small eyes so she only likes to use gold or even like rose gold or browns um so i thought of her when i saw this palette but this is definitely a palette for anybody um i even create this nice like dramatic more look from myself um but anybody can seriously create whatever looks with this palette so and for the price you definitely can't beat that all right, so let's go ahead and jump into the swatches. All right, you guys, the first color is Shy, and then we have Waffle, which is a really nice bone color, and then we have Image, Truth, Speechless, Center, Seek, and then we have Talk, If Face, I Face, <laughs> Better, and then we have Topaz, Character, and then we have Sparkle, which is one of my favorites. And then we have Marnie and Eden. And then we have Most, Sharp, Boots, Quake, Access, Worky, Double, Space, Thief, and then Effort. All right, guys, and that was the swatches from the palette. If you guys want to see how I created this eye look, then just please keep on watching. I am going to throw in what lip color I'm wearing as well in the video. So don't forget to give my video a big thumbs up. And also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. And if you have any questions, just comment down below as well. But I will list the link where you can buy the palette. So if you guys want to see how I got this look, then just please keep on watching. I'm so excited to play with this bad boy, you guys. You guys have no idea. So the first color I'm going to use is my transition shade, which is the color Truth. And I'm going to be using um, that new Morphe brush that I bought, the Morphe M441 brush. And I'm going to be rocking this color, you guys, in windshield wiper motions back and forth in my crease and just a little bit on my lid because, again, we're going to use this color as the transition shade. The next shade that I'm going to be using, you guys, is the color Center, and I'm still using that same um, Morphe brush, the M441. And we're going to focus this color just mainly on the outer corner, and then we're going to work just a little bit going towards the crease area. Followed by the shade Most, we are going to also just place this color towards the outer corner. We're just going to darken up that outer corner a little bit more. Um, you can definitely darken it as dark as you want it to, um, but what I'm doing here is that I'm layering the eyeshadows first. So I'm going in with like a lighter brown and then like a darker brown, and then we're going to go in with like an even darker brown, and then a little bit of like a really, really dark brown. <laughs> so I'm just layering the eyeshadows, you guys. That's what I'm basically doing at this point, but just focusing it towards the outer corner only. 
Remember how I was talking about going darker and darker? Yep, this is the time. <laughs> so I'm taking the color Effort and I'm using a more smaller Morphe brush. Um, the one that I'm using is the number M507. I love this brush whenever I'm doing darker colors, especially towards the outer corner. And we're gonna create kind of like a smoked out wing liner. Um, and that's the only area where I'm gonna go ahead and place that um, shade at. Um, and also I did get a little bit of kickback and fall out with that color So just make sure that you you know If you feel like you are a little bit messy when it comes to darker shadows Make sure you always do your eyes first and then your foundation But I didn't think that there was gonna be any fallout, but there was a little bit with that color Going in with sparkle with the Mac 233 brush I will be placing the color from inner corner all the way to the center of the lid But not all the way out towards the outer corner you can feather out the shade, you guys, with a very light pressure towards the outer corner without really um, messing up our wing that we had just created with the eyeshadow. So just using very, very soft strokes. Using my Studio Pro Pomade by BH Cosmetics in the shade Brunette, and I'm using a Morphe E37, I will be creating a cat wing look, extending the liner from the inner corner. You're going to be kind of like creating a little baby triangle, and then you're going to connect it towards the bottom lash line. Going back into the palette, you guys, I'm dipping into the color Space and using a Morphe S28 brush to smoke out that pomade so that everything is all blended together and that there are no harsh lines that are visible to see. For my waterline, I'm taking my Morphe E37 brush, apply some of that pomade. I love how it just gives me a more bronzy look. Rather than going in with like a black gel liner or black overall, um, with this pomade, um, it does not move or even smear anywhere and it's very long lasting, but I just love how bronzy it looks and it doesn't look as harsh. Of course, I went ahead and already applied my lashes, and they're, per usual, the A's lashes in the style Alix. And then for mascara, I'm going in with, of course, as well, the usual, Buxom Big T's mascara. I just love how it really plumps my lashes, and it's the only mascara that I like that I don't have to dip into the container more than once to get what I want. I just really love how they make my lashes, my bottom lashes look so much fuller. For lips today, I'm gonna go into Morphe times um, Orpha and it's her um, lip pencil in vinyl. And then for the lip combo today, you guys, I wanted something more vampy. Since our eye look is pretty subtle, I think we can go ahead and pull off a darker lip. So I went ahead and took the Elle of Sarai Dunn's um, Color Pop, and this is the shade Mamacita. And then on top of that, I went ahead and applied um, the Buxom's um, Full On Lip Polish, and this is in the shade Jasmine. So when I went into Ulta, you guys, I saw that Mara Badesco came out with a new um, scent, and it's in the scent Lavender, and it smells so bomb. And then for my chest, you guys, I am a little self-tan, so I want that extra glow. I I'm going in with the Buxom Cosmetics Divine Goddess Luminizer in the shade Venus, and this is seriously goals, you guys. It really gives my body a really nice glow. It's super lightweight, and it feels like you're applying a lotion, um, but it blends out so good on the skin, and it's not sticky, so it's super comfortable to wear, and I I love to use this on models because it does photograph so good but it really gives like that nice moisture and glow to your skin all right guys and that is it for today's makeup look hope you guys liked it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys in my next one i love you bye and